Hey guys, today we're going to talk about criteria and constraints. What are criteria and constraints? These are terms we use for problem solving, for how to use your creative mind to come up with a solution to your problem. For your projects, you need to know this. You have a design challenge, something you need to solve. How do you approach your challenge? First, you identify the problem that you're trying to solve. I'm hungry. I need to be fed. We need to get across this river. We need a way to stay warm in this cold weather. We need a way to cook when we don't have electricity. Solving a problem comes in two parts. First, identify how things are now, and then identify how you want them to be. I'm hungry. I want to be fed. We are here. We want to be there. We are cold. We want to be warm. We don't have electricity. We want cooked food. Let's take it a little closer to the life of a student. I have classwork to do. I want to be done with it. I have a bad grade. I want a good grade. I keep getting distracted. I want to focus on what I'm doing. These are the stepping stones laid out on your path to success. Next, we talk about constraints. Constraints are limitations. Constraints are things that keep you from doing the things the best way that you really want to do them. Constraints are rules. Constraints are things that limit you. They can be limitations that are laid out by your teacher at the beginning of a project. They could be something that's a problem that you anticipate coming up during the course of the design. They can be rules that limit the size or the shape of something. They could be a limit on time, quality, risks, money, or other resources. They include rules or directions that must be followed. Try a sentence starter to figure out your constraints. Let's say you're working on a situation where the problem you need to solve is that you're cold, but you don't have any electricity. You can't. What would you say next? How about you can't turn on the heater, meaning that you can't just flip on the heater for your house to get warm. There no needs to be another solution. Next, let's look at criteria. Criteria is a measurement of success. How will you know if you were successful? And if you were successful, how will you know how successful you were? Criteria is the way that something is judged. Identifying your criteria helps us narrow down what your goal is. Think about the purpose of your solution. Try this sentence starter. How would you finish this sentence for the problem of having low battery power on your phone? You need to, what would you say? How about you need to get electricity into your phone? Why is it important to understand criteria and constraints? If you don't understand them at the beginning of your project, you might put a lot of work into a solution only to find out it was the wrong solution. It might be a solution that doesn't work. It might be a solution that doesn't fit with the assignment. It might be a solution that just isn't possible. Let's try it. What would you do if you wanted to heat your house and you didn't have any electricity? Oh, I know. I'm going to bring in some radioactive waste to heat my house. No, you can't do that. Why not? Won't that make it warm? Well, yes but it's going to kill you by giving you cancer and damaging your DNA. But besides, we don't have any. Try another one. Oh, I know. I'm going to charge my phone by building a power plant and using a hydroelectric dam. No, I'm afraid we don't have the time or the resources for that. So do you see why it's important to pay attention to your limitations, your constraints? Do you see why it's important to pay attention to your criteria, what your goal is, what your measurement of success is? Being able to charge my cell phone, I should be able to do that within two hours or less, otherwise it's not useful to me. Being able to heat my house needs to be done with something that I have within my house already. Now, try it for yourself. Create a table that looks like this and look at your design project. Look at your engineering challenge. Look at your classroom assignment, perhaps. Identify what your criteria are. Those are your goals. What is your measurement of success? And identify your constraints. What's your limitations? What are the things that you can't do or the things that it must do? Good luck and happy engineering.